Hello. So I told you I would be making a jewelry video and since my trip I've fallen in love with crystal wrapping and so today I'm going to show you how to do, I'm going to show you how to wrap kyanite with this kind of crisscrossy back and forth. This is a pretty chunky piece but we're going to do a thinner slice, it's a little bit easier. And then also I'll be showing you how to make rings like these. These are awesome. Um, I'm not going to do the necklace knot today just because it takes me a while. Sometimes I mess up the second knot, but also I want to make more jewelry videos. So I'll save it for another one. Crystals, honestly, you can get them pretty cheap. Um, I have, I can buy them wholesale, but I'll find some websites that might have some better deals just for regular purchasing. Um, blue kyanite is, um, definitely not expensive. And the little beads, I literally got a huge pack on Amazon. So I will link that down below definitely. Um, I can't link the kyanite because I bought it when I was in Arizona. But let's get started. So for this project you'll need some, I believe these are needle nose, pliers. Um, these round ones, um, they come with like any wire wrapping pack or I'm sure you can get a pair for maybe five or six bucks at Michael's. I think I got these at Walmart actually. Um, your blue kyanite or honestly any, um, any crystal and then your wire of choice. Um, I think, I'm not sure if I'm going to use copper or silver yet, but I think these are maybe 18 and 20 gauge. I'm probably going to use this copper one. Um, anything between probably six, mm, 16 or 18 to 22 um, the thinner it is, the, the more likely it is to break, but, um, the thicker it is, the harder it's going to be to wrap, but this one looks a little bit thicker than the silver. So, first, what you're going to want to do is take a piece, maybe a little less than a foot, maybe a foot when you're just starting out. Cut that set that aside. That's the only piece you're going to need. So you're going to put the ends together just to find the center and kind of pull that so you can see where the center is. You're going to take the round pliers, put it down to the end, and kind of bend it around. Now this is where this is where the necklace is going to go through. So right here, what we're making is that bit right there. So I usually do two or three times um, around, um, depending on how thick my wire is. If your wire is pretty thin, you probably want to do three, maybe even four. But I think I'm just going to do two for this one. So you see, you just want to pull it pretty tight, have those ends meet, I like to push it down, and then pull that off, and there you have it. So now you're going to want to pick the piece that you're going to use this really skinny piece. Now, what you want to do is take your piece and we're going to spin it. Now, what you want to do is keep this V shape as similar as possible every time you twist. 
Now this is going to create a really good twist where it's not just one wire wrapping around the other. This takes practice. Mine definitely is not going to be perfect, but I'm just going to start wrapping. V shape. Now you're going to do this as long. So you, you're going to choose, you know, what's the top, what's the bottom. This is going to be the top right here. So you're going to want to lay it flat and you're going to want to twist this, this back piece as far down as you want the first, um, the first loop to be if that makes sense you see on this one it goes all the way down and that's my first twist so on this one i'm gonna keep going because it's only about halfway okay i think that's pretty good so now um we are gonna spin this at some point but you don't have to worry about that right now all you want to do is separate them and pinch where you want them to be like that see that V shape I'm gonna take my pliers and give it a good spin now you don't want to twist too tight or your wire might actually break you'll learn this the hard way it will happen I did it twice. Now I'm going to kind of flatten it, push it upwards. So that's what it looks like. I'm going to put it around the back. I'm going to twist it around the back. This is going to keep this twisty bit in place. Good twist. Use my pliers, make it really tight. up again and we're gonna do the same thing we're gonna go around to the front we're gonna take it cross it where we want take our pliers give it a good two or three twists it's one and two Pushing it up again to the front, taking it to the back. Now you want to twist this one again. Push it up. And now, that looks awesome. We're going to take it to the back, you're going to spin this top piece, so instead of um, it being like that from the front, we're going to spin it 90 degrees. So now it looks like that, and it's open from the side. So now you're going to take one of your pieces and start spinning it around this piece. This is just going to create a little bit more um, stability in the piece and it's also just going to be a little bit more of a um, decorative touch, if I may. And then I'm going to clip this pretty close. I'm gonna make a little curve. You see that? So then, when I spin it around again, I can kind of just fit it in the center. And it's hidden. I'm gonna push it down a little farther, but just so you can see. 
I'm still figuring out what I like to do with this piece, but I do like to stabilize it a little bit more. So I just spin it around maybe once and then trim it. And just kind of hide it somewhere the same way we did with the first one. There we have it. That is your blue kyanite wrapped piece. I think that looks awesome. Now for the ring. I got this pack of um, crystal beads on Amazon and they already have holes in them, which is awesome. So I'm going to pick a stone. I'm not sure what this is. It's definitely not amethyst. Well, maybe it is. Okay, I'm going to choose this bead instead of the side. So there are easier way to do, ways to do this, but you're going to pick something. This is like a perfume bottle. Um, pick something that is a little bit smaller than the circumference of, sorry, a little bit bigger than the circumference of your finger. Get your wire. I got this on Amazon. Um, I will link this as well. So you're going to put the, the bead on first. Just like that. And you're going to start to wrap around your item. Um, I've found that highlighters work great if you have um, bigger fingers, um, just like paint pens or um, essential oils. Now when you see that, you're going to go halfway around again, so that I can feel that on the bottom. And that is where we're going to put the bead. And you're going to have to place it the way you want it here. Just like that. And then keep wrapping. This doesn't have to be perfect. Put it under there. Do a full another one, and that other one is going to go halfway around to that back of the other one, and that's where you're going to cut it. I'm just going to shape it again, and we're going to be doing a little bit more cutting, so this doesn't have to be perfect. So now what you're going to do is take this loose wire and you're going to wrap around this side. You see that? You're going to want to keep the shape over here so try not to pull it too hard. But you're going to wrap it around. And I just like to make sure that I'm not taking too much by doing that. See that? Now I pulled it too tight on this side because now they're not laying flat. I'm gonna wrap it again. Just 
just like that. That's awesome. So now you're gonna do the same on the other side. I'm gonna take this piece, I'm gonna go over first. Kind of look at my other side and see where where I want it. Say that's good. Just like that. Sorry if you can hear my mom in the background. She's on the phone. I'm just gonna kind of tuck this wire um, I'll probably end up filing it um, but I'm gonna flatten these put them together I'm gonna try to push it back on here Make it as round as possible. And that is the ring. It is super duper easy. I'll show you some other ones I've made. It really took like five minutes. Got this red one. Some lapis lazuli. These are awesome. Um, now you can do things a little bit differently. I've made some that don't look as elegant, but they will last longer. Um, they look like this. Now I could do a tutorial for these as well. It's a lot of wrapping, but they're a lot sturdier. But yeah. So... I hope you enjoyed this little jewelry video. Um, I had a lot of fun making it. I love showing off little arts and crafts, but let me know if you wanna see anything else. If you do wanna see how to do, um, I, I'm not sure exactly what it's called, but the adjustable knot. But um, yes, thank you for watching and I will see you next time.